Guys, what is going on back up here for another video and today I wanted to give you a top five video with this Tuesday, October 16th, Smackdown 1000 coming up. I figured what better time than to give my top five returns that I would like to see on the blue brand for this historic 1000th episode. It's hard to believe. Smackdown, you know, seen its ups and downs over the years. But once again, we are coming up on the 1,000th episode. A little bit of trivia here. The first episode of SmackDown, the pilot, which aired on the USA Network, aired on April 29, 1999, before it officially became a series on the UPN Network on August 26, 1999. And here we are, 1,000 episodes later, SmackDown's still going strong. In my opinion, the superior brand lately compared to raw so does that going for it so all in all i just hope we get a good anniversary show because after that crap fest that was raw 25 i hope it can't get worse than that because that was a really bad show so hopefully smackdown pulls out all the stops and i feel if they have these top five returns in addition to the stars they've already announced like the undertaker and Rey mysterio coming back to take on shinsuke nakamura which will be awesome and we have evolution Reuniting, Batista's coming back. That should be great. So in addition to that, these are the top five superstars that I would like to see return to the blue brand. Start with number five. It's kind of a cheating here since he's technically already back with WWE, but he isn't back on SmackDown. I'm, of course, talking about the former Raw general manager, Kurt Angle. Or Los Conquistador, as we saw from Raw this past week. <laughs> that was some good stuff there with Kurt. Kurt, of course, you know, for all those years, from 2002 onward, really made SmackDown his own brand, tearing up with the likes of Brock Lesnar, Eddie Guerrero, you know, The Undertaker, and, you know, the list goes on and on. John Cena, um, he, he had many a great battles on SmackDown Live, and I feel it would be fitting for Kurt to make an appearance. We haven't seen him make that many appearances on SmackDown. I believe before Survivor Series, we saw him last year make an appearance. But other than that, we don't see Kurt Angle on SmackDown since he's been primarily on the Raw brand. So I think it would be fitting to bring Kurt Angle back on the brand where he really hits just so many great memories and moments inside and out of the ring. So he's number five on my list. Number four here on my list, Taz, to reunite with Michael Cole on commentary. My opinion, a very underrated duo. Taz, Michael Cole, they just had tremendous chemistry for all those years on SmackDown. They were my favorite commentary team on SmackDown. So I feel you, you got to do it just for old times. Just for one night, how great would it be to hear Michael Cole and Taz? I never thought I'd say that. I want to hear Michael Cole, but I do with Taz because they just exuded so much great chemistry you know they, they got the matches over I thought they really clicked well with each other they had some good back and forth dialogue you know and to me it was Michael Taz it was Michael Cole's best broadcast partner outside of everybody else that he's been with so hopefully we get to see Taz make a return next Tuesday number three on my list you think you know me I'm, of course, talking about the rated R superstar, Edge. What would it be, what would SmackDown 1000 be without Edge? From, you know, 2008 onwards, in 2007, excuse me, when Edge came over to SmackDown, he made that show his own. You know, stuff with Vicky Guerrero was great, the feud with The Undertaker, you know, Jeff Hardy... The list goes on and on and on. Edge, you know, knew, going to get lost in the shuffle here on Raw. If I go to SmackDown, I could stand out here on my own, get away from Triple H, get away from John Cena, Batista, Orton. And he did that. He made it his own. And that feud with The Undertaker was so, so good. So since Edge wasn't able to make it to Raw 25, I think honestly that was a good thing. <laughs> He's got to be on SmackDown, because to me, Edge is synonymous with SmackDown, and I love Edge, he's one of my favorites of all time, and it's still, you know, it would be great to see him, so hopefully we do. 
Number two on my list, and speaking of lists, you know what happens when Chris Jericho doesn't show up to SmackDown 1000? You just made the list! Chris Jericho. Now, he's been trolling people on Twitter. I love Jericho. People have been tweeting at him. Are you going to come up, come SmackDown 1000? He says yes. Then he says no in another tweet. So with Jericho, he's the master troller. You never know what the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla is going to do. But how awesome would it be? We saw him at Raw 25. We haven't seen him in WWE for a while. To see the IWGP Intercontinental Champion. He's got cruises going on. He might be showing up in Impact. You know, he's at all in. He's everywhere because he's Chris Jericho. He can do whatever the hell he wants to. And that is why I respect the hell out of Chris Jericho. And you know it would be awesome for him to show up on SmackDown 1000 and put somebody on the freaking list. Because that would be great because you get to drink it in, man. So Jericho's number two on my list. But who, who could be number one? I'll tell you who's number one. The jabroni beating. Pie eating, trail blazing, eyebrow raising, put your foot on the gas, always ready to whip some ass, the rock! Smackdown 1000, the people's show, the rock's show, the rock, the great one, the Brahma bull, invented the word Smackdown, so it would only be fitting that the rock returns to his show, to lay it the Smackdown on all those Rudy Pooh candy asses. You can guarantee if The Rock shows up, I'm going to lose my freaking mind because it's The Rock and he's one of my favorite of all time. And SmackDown is his show. Come on, he's got to be. He's just got to be there, people. It wouldn't be right. He wasn't at Raw 25. We have not seen The Rock in WWE in quite a while. And how awesome would it be to see The Rock have an in ring segment with the face or the champ that runs the camp? AJ Styles. Just saying, just throwing it out there. That would be a great match at WrestleMania, but, you know, the creator of SmackDown versus uh, the house that AJ Styles built. There you go. So those are the top five returns I would like to see happen at SmackDown 1000. To run through them real quickly again, number five, Kurt Angle. Number four, Taz. And then we have here number three, Edge, number two, Chris Jericho, and number one, The Rock. So those are my top five returns I'd like to see at SmackDown 1000. Who would you like to see return at SmackDown 1000? Be sure to leave your comments down below in the comments section. And that does it for this video, guys. I want to say thank you all for watching. I will be back up here for live reactions to SmackDown 1000. Gonna be doing those around 10:30 ish. Won't be able to watch the show live, but I will be giving you my reactions later on. And of course, we'll be doing a live review for that historic episode as well. Be sure to also check out you know, my my Twitter at Daniel Guys 412, Facebook page facebookcom slash Daniel Guys in 1994. Links can be found down down below in the description box. Also, be sure to check out my good friend Matt Kane's Kane Action Team page on Facebook. Instagram, and YouTube. And also be sure to check out my friend Ben Garten, the Kickmaster. Check out his YouTube channel as well. That is Ben the Kickmaster Garten, which would be a pretty good name for pro a pro wrestler. Just, just saying. Just want to throw it out there. So that does it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video, and I will be back up here again in my next video whenever that may be. So until then, take care.